The Vent feature allows you to take a 2D representation of a vent and convert it into a 3D cutout applied to a part. In this example, I'll use the sketch you see here to create a vent on this face. I'll click the Vent icon to bring up the Vent Property Manager. The first item I'll define is the boundary of the vent. This is defined using the sketch segments that form a closed profile. For this example, the outermost circle of the sketch will be the boundary. Next, I'll select the face where I want the vent to be created. The vent will be cut in a direction normal to the boundary sketch you selected. So it's important that you select the face on the same side as the sketch. In this case, I must select the inside face. An error would appear if I selected the outer face since it's on the opposite side of the part. You can choose whether you want to add draft to the resulting geometry and whether you want to add fillets to break sharp corners. To complete the vent, I need to define ribs, spars, and any support areas. For ribs, I'll select the two line segments. I'll set the depth to 2 mm and the width to 4 mm. No offsets necessary, so I'll leave that at zero. For spars, I'll select the two middle circles with depth of one millimeter and width of four millimeters. Finally, I'll select the inner circle as a support boundary. Its depth will be two millimeters and no offset will be necessary. I'll click OK and the vent is complete.